Working with Godot for a few years now, I've come across a variety of useful tips too small to make their own video about. So here's a few of them specifically for GDScript. By default, when you cast a node or custom class to a string, you tend to get a pretty ugly and unusable output. But by overriding the toString function, you can choose what should be returned when the node is cast to a string. And while you'll probably want to define a custom function for most player-facing strings, this can be very helpful for debugging your game or even just casually tracking changes to certain elements while playtesting it. It's often helpful to have exported variables that come from a fixed set of options, rather than having to manually remember and parse strings or integers. If you have an enumerator containing your values, you can use it as the exported variable type. If you want to manually define values for your exported variable, you can use the type of int or string followed by a comma followed by a comma separated list of values. Whether to choose int or string just depends on what you plan to do with it in your code and what makes sense for you. Ever notice that the line numbers in Godot's built-in script editor aren't always the same color? That's due to safe lines, a built-in feature that can detect whether or not a line is type safe before running your project. If a line number is highlighted, that means Godot is able to reasonably verify that the code on a line matches up with the expected types of the objects being acted upon. If a line isn't highlighted, that means Godot is unable to verify that everything is type safe. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's a problem, just that the line can't be verified before running the app. You can also help Godot out with this by using as to cast objects of an unclear type. And if desired, you can go into your editor settings to disable or enable this feature or to change the highlight color to match your preferences. Have some big numbers in your code and wish they were easier to read? Underscores are ignored at compile time for numbers and are a great way to add readability to your code in lieu of commas. And lastly, we have the stepify function, which lets you snap a value to a given step. For example, you can use this function to round a float to a certain number of decimal places, or to just snap it to the nearest multiple of x. And that's just a quick look at a few handy tips for GDScript. Until next time.